Hey, rewind that clip. What's on deck too? Number one question is favorite Pokemon games. And we can start counterclockwise. Oh, we can it, go oh ahead. I was about to just go. Man, this oh, go, ahead, go ahead. You sound the Emerald, nigga. Oh. Emerald was that heat, nigga. Did y'all know that y'all could copy Pokemon to Emerald? Copy? He there was he didn't know that. Bro, there was a cheat. <laughs> there was a cheat way of doing it on your Game Boy Advance. It was you saved, and in the middle of your save, you cut it the fuck off. But it was only in the battle frontier. It was only at one PC. You could like get unlimited Groudons, unlimited Kyogres, unlimited Rayquazas. You what could do whatever fuck? you fucking wanted. Dang. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, that was like the most cheated um, fucking Pokemon ever on Game Boy. It was amazing. That was yeah, my that, favorite. Them Game Boy game. days was, hey, look, po- Pokemon Silver was mine. So oh, Silver? Talking about the original Game Boy? Yeah, Pokemon Silver was mine because that's like the earliest memory I had of playing it um, when somebody entrusted me to capture Lugia and I failed. Um, <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, Wait, I, you killed it? I accidentally killed it. You yeah. didn't save before? So I had I had a um, master ball, right? I threw the master ball and it broke out of it. Wait, wait. Hell wait, no. Wait, no, 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 no. Not, not, the, not the master ball. Oh, I had, I had an ultra tripping. ball. Ultra ball. <laughs> ultra. Okay, okay. I was about no, no, no. to. Ultra ball. Ultra ball. Ultra ball. Now you got into a big theory because there's this big theory about like ma- like Pokemon escaping master balls. Uh-huh. No. And I don't think it's like. A, wait, wasn't that one? No. The niggas ain't escaping a master ball. I know. I know right. But some people be saying that. And there's like I don't a whole. Know who Reddit, said that? Eh? No, nah, yeah. There's a Reddit thread where people be saying it. And people be like, no, it doesn't exist. Show me the Carfax. No, no, but it was an ultra ball. Excuse me. So. Um, I forget what I was attacking it with, but I remember I was like, "Damn!" Like it, it broke out of it at first, and then I, I had like a little bit of a shred of life. I'm like, "Shit, maybe I can hit it again with an attack," and I did. And then it ended up dying. I had to, I had to give him the news, bro. Like that shit, that shit kind of broke me. You ain't saved before, bro. He should have huh? saved, saved before. I, I didn't know. Rookie Nick, mistakes. Hey, look, niggas was in, <laughs> niggas was in second grade, and I still remember that L vividly to this day. Damn, you got a hold. Nigga it. never caught a loogie. Damn, you got a hold yeah, that shit was crazy. That's a little damn. Okay, yeah, sure. so. All right, so I wouldn't say this is like my favorite game, but it's one of the games that only like a niche amount of people would like actually like. It's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, bro. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, bro. The storyline for that game was was very heartwarming. Like, so you would play the game and you started off with the personality test, right? Mm. So it honestly made you, and whatever the personality test would be, the Pokemon that you would become. So they kind of initiated those type of things in the game to make you feel like you were in the game. And it was like you went through like a guild that was very family atmosphere like. But the story itself was really, 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 really good. Like on some like Zelda, some Infinity Gauntlet type good storytelling. Mm. And um, like I'm going to be honest, the story was actually a little bit too complex, I think, for people around that age. Like I remember playing it. And I remember I was like, this is really, really good. But I couldn't necessarily conceptualize exactly what was going on because of how good the story was. But then when I go back and I actually, because I recently went back and just re, uh, reread the whole story and everything that I was doing for the time. And I was like, bro, this game is, is crazy. And it had a really bittersweet ending to it. Like, it was one of the very first Pokemon games where you as the main character, you died at the end of the game. Mm. Which was crazy because it was like... Like a lot of people cried at that moment when. Uh, Man, that's crazy. Yeah, it it was very it was very crazy. It was very crazy for a Pokemon game. So mm. I wouldn't say that's the best game. Like it's not the best game, but it's definitely the game that I felt the most. Like whenever, your personal. Yeah, best. while ever playing a Pokemon game. What was, was your crazy. Pokemon personality? You was a squirrel. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. All right. Uh, I, I, I can't even remember what I was because I, I remember. I remember I would. Uh, squirrel. I remember I did a personality <laughs> test. Man, shut up. I did a. <laughs> I did. I did a. I don't be squirting. Anyway, <laughs> yo. So, so, no, so look, I did a, a personality test, and I remember I got a Pokemon that I didn't like. But you know, like if you choose a specific amount of set ones, you could get the Pokemon that you want. I can't remember exactly which one it was. I think mm. I might have been like a Trico or something. Trico was not cool. No Trico. Folks. Trico cool. Yeah, I thought Trico. Trico was cool. Nah, nigga. Nah, Trico, Trico cool. Trico's cool. Hey, he, look. Nah, hey, look. he's cool. But like, if you a Gen three nigga, you a Mudkip for real. I was uh, no 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 I I'm, but not, I'm, I'm not kidding I'm not kidding so I did play the game like I so there's two games there's Explorers of Sky and Explorers of Darkness and one of those I definitely was a Mudkip so I played as a Mudkip mm. yeah, but mud on top of that there were some characters in that in that story like uh it was very similar to like Naruto like you know how Naruto has like 
a villain and then another villain is doing this, then sure. another villain is doing Bro, it was the exact same setup, bro. Like there's a character that was Grovile, you know Grovile, the, the yeah, yeah, preform. Yeah. yeah, but like in the game, that was their name. Grovile, real nigga, yeah. yeah but that was their names in the game. Like if you were Pikachu, you were that Pikachu in that game. If you were Grovile, they were just referred to you as Grovile. They didn't have like specific names. Mm. Bro, Grovile in that game was freaking Atachi, bro. Grovile <laughs> was tough though. In that game, that whole though. line, that whole line. No, no, oh, they looked tough, yeah. He looked tough, yeah. But in that game, bro, so look, it, you thought that Grovile was the villain for the mm. longest time. But it turns out he was Atachi, bro. Like, remember I told you, you you turned into a Pokemon? Like, when you took the per- personality test and you was a Pokemon, you were a human that was transformed into a Pokemon. That's tough. Right. But uh, there was this villain that was Grovile who was like messing up time and everything. Mm. But then you find out that Grovile was actually your starter Pokemon when you were a human mm-hmm. and he was trying to finish out y'all mission that y'all had set out to. And then he like does a whole bunch. Like he even sac- like he doesn't necessarily kill himself, but he does like make a big sacrifice at the end. Mm-hmm. It, it was crazy, bro. The game was the game was really good. Nah, that shit sound lit though. The game but was crazy. That mud kit line too, Marsh Stomp and Swampert. Them <laughs> Swampert niggas are like tough. that. Swampert was Real niggas, they get swift swim. Who knows? Gar or Joe? Joe I'll, I'll go ahead and go. He already said Emerald, but on the GameCube, they had this Real game nigga. called Bo- Pokemon XD. If, if it, oh, Gale Pokemon. of Darkness? Yeah, Gale of Darkness. Mm, that was my shit. Hey, that, that was my shit, bro. I it, still got that game. Yeah, the reason why I like that one so much is because they introduced like a new concept. Like mm-hmm. so early on, like they had the sh- Shadow Pokemon. That's you catch so the pa- Shadow Pokemon and you can purge them and stuff. They had like Shadow Lugia and all that stuff. You can still purge. Uh, that's Shadow where they Lugia. came from. That's where Shadow Lugia. Came yeah, from? yeah, bro. They came from that. It was that like that only hard. time they ever did it. But that it was like was it was unique back in the day. Now they got like Dynamax, all the other bullshit, right, yeah. crystallizing. Yeah. Did you purify Lugia then? Yeah, I did. I ended up doing it just because it's like uh, purified. Why not the original? Then um next I like I really like Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold. Bro, yes, the Pokewalker? Yeah, this is because of Pokewalker. <laughs> the Pokewalker was Yo, crazy. Yo, when I was EV training, I EV trained all my Pokemon. I put that bitch in the, <laughs> Nerd bitch in the um, Pokewalker, bro. bro. I'll just be outside. Yeah, I used to bring that drink to school, bro. Nah, I ain't do y'all niggas that. even know what EVs and IVs are? <laughs> yes. Well, I don't know if they do. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Do I know what, what EV are? is. No, 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 no not, not the Pokemon. No. Yeah, you know, effort, effort value. Oh no no no! I'm not. I'm not for value, and then the Ivy is like, what is that one again? That's the I one. Yeah, that's just, the one you like. Yeah, the breed and shit. But yeah. yeah, I just got six IVs earlier, but you know what? I'm weak. No, I'm not privy to that. So that's like you could get EVs by battling different types of Pokemon. So like different uh-huh. Pokemon give you different EVs. So mm-hmm. say you were to fight like a Chelsea, right? The mm-hmm. Nurse Joy Pokemon and shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, your Pokemon would get more health from that. Chelsea's like, the preform of Blissey, right? Whatever the fuck is, yeah, the, okay. the pink fat bitch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you fight her, you get more health. Like you'll get like plus one HP for your EV, and like you won't notice it like immediately. But as the levels go on to a hundred, like that EV becomes like a bigger stat. Mm. If that makes sense. But yeah, it's just some nerd ass shit, and it's like, why the fuck does he know about this? Shit, fucking- no boy. <laughs> right. Just I. Uh, personally, I think my favorite was Pokemon Black, which is like, it's not a newer one now, but, um, it's not an old one either. I think I, I like that game the best because it was the first time with, uh, Pokemon games that they introduced 3D environments. And, um, it was like a mix. Cause right now I'm, um, I'm looking at the kids with their playing. It, it looks, it, it looks like nothing of what, what we play, but I remember Pokemon Black was like the first time they introduced 3D environments, but it was still like a mix of the oh, old yeah, pixelated 3D yeah, like it stuff. Crazy. But it, it, it was like the entry point of 3D. And from what I can see, it's my favorite artistically because it's not, it's not so fleshed out that it's taking itself too seriously. It just, it just looks like really cool to me. Um, I like the story. The story was good. From what I remember, I can't I can't remember fully the fleshed out story, but I do just remember being actually intrigued in the story in comparison to like uh, Pearl Diamond and uh, Platinum actually, Platinum actually like, but um, yeah, and I remember there was like the main antagonist name was N, and he was like the leader of this organization called Team Plasma or whatever, and then there was like an obvious twist at the end where N was actually the good guy and but me playing it I don't, I don't know how old i was i, I couldn't have been too young but i just i, I just really liked it and the, the gym battles were cool because 
uh, they were intriguing because they had puzzles inside the gym. Like, so like, not only did you have to like be all like the henchmen before you got to the gym leader, you had to like solve the puzzles and they weren't that hard, but it was just an added another layer to the game. And another thing I like about it, and which is my, my favorite, um, my favorite dynamic of Pokemon games in general is just traveling around and like going into some random shops and mm. you go to random apartments and talk to the people and you see the reason of why they have this Pokemon and how that Pokemon is helping them out. Or you'll have, if you like, there's this, there's like mystery eggs where like some of the Pokemon are actually taking advantage of their owners. And it's just, I always like that aspect of the game where, from a child level, it's, like, really fun to play. But if you have, like, a more mature mind and you're playing it, there's, like, Easter eggs built in that with a more adult theme. Right. If that makes sense. Mm. Hey, this one is over. Pass me the next clip.